Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video I decided to list all the things I dislike and like about groups I stan. I thought it would be an interesting video, I'm not putting a disclaimer because I honestly can't be asked, and I bet you have heard them millions of times, you know how this works so on to the first group. Come through Neo boys, I'm a sucker for these men, you will never see them lacking on stage, and I have to give points for their discography cause damn, I'm telling you all if the music wasn't good I would have dipped ages ago, they always be releasing album of the year every year, am I wrong? And before anyone says that all NCT release is noise music, okay, at least the noise is banging. Out of all the songs in their discography I'm sure you can find something that caters to your music taste. Now on to the negatives. Whilst I do love NCT in general I have to say, the problematic stuff and scandals are way too much. Literally every month something has to happen. There is really no peaceful day. None of the boys are safe. Nearly all of them have done something, big or not. I'm side eyeing, especially my favorite black person Mr. Westside, you think I forgot about you, no, never, when I found out about what he did, it makes me glad I wasn't a gay pop stan when it happened, I see people folding for him, and I see why, I mean look at him, he's hot, but we need to hold ourselves back, Neo doesn't have your back right now. Even though they just recently debuted I've already have left such a great impact on me, they never miss. What I especially like about them is their styling, they look so pretty every time they are on stage, whoever is styling them needs a raise, I don't have much negatives about I've because they are doing really well but when people talk about the favoritism Starship has towards One Young and Eugene it gets me thinking, One Young and Eugene already had fame so it's obvious that they would be pushed but it's the fact that some people are making it seem like Starship don't care about the other members, how do you know what goes down in the Starship building? That's right you don't, I also hate the people that harass the members especially One Young, like leave them alone, they didn't do anything to you, One Young ate a strawberry, that's right, a literal strawberry that you can buy in any local shop, and people started calling her pick me, give her and the other members a break, my problem with Ive does not lie with the members at all it's just the antis and toxic stands that ruffle my feathers. BTS are a group that I feel like at one point everyone has somewhat stand. What I love about BTS is that they just feel so authentic you can tell that they are all very good friends with each other and genuinely love their fans and their love yourself concept reflects that well. Now on to the negatives, their current music. Ever since Dynamite BTS have been quite stuck with their music. I know people in the comments are gonna be like, saying BTS's current music is bad is annoying or that I'm being picky. But can I not have my opinion it may be a popular one but still, the English trilogy just isn't cutting it, I'm sorry it really isn't, life goes on was good, it was, but Loki forgettable if I say so myself, and also just released at a time where Dynamite was still topping the charts, I heard that BTS were working on a Korean album and I am excited because I know that they can serve us some good music. Stacy Girls were you honestly expecting me to say anything negative about Stacy? Stay to the sea, never, I have nothing bad to say about them, so I thought I could use this time to appreciate them instead, all of their songs are bangers, tell me you disagree, besides our top tier, young love song of the century by the way, choreography on point, styling on point, everything on point, Stan Stacy. Luna are such a dreamy group and I'm glad I was able to get into them, seeing their lore and theory videos on YouTube automatically drew me in, it's just so interesting, complex but eye catching, as well as the lore I love the members, they are so talented and just overall entertaining, on the downside though I dislike the line distribution, and I don't blame them, I blame BBC, I know it's not that simple as they are a 12 member group and not everyone can get equal lines, but at least don't make them go into the recording studio, breathe, then leave, you might as well give them no lines at that point, sometimes I wonder why some of the members even get microphones on stage, just as for Vivi and Gawan, I just wish they had more opportunities, and let's not even talk about screen time distribution, that's a whole other conversation. I love everything about it see, especially the members, they just seem like such nice people that you could get along with well, and I personally have no problem with them, all I dislike is JYP's management, 
It's kinda obvious he doesn't really know what route he wants Etsy to take for the future. I've talked about it before, but there is a lack of identity going on. He also needs to start giving them more music to enhance their talents so they don't start to fade out of the scene. That's all the groups I'm going through today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what you would like to see next. Bye.